hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video um, and if you don't already subscribe to my channel make sure that you subscribe to my channel by clicking the link down below not the link sorry used to it click the link for my instagram and click the button to subscribe to my channel um, right so uh, right off the bat because you guys know this video is about my fitness journey my weight loss journey or whatever you want to call it um, I want to get two disclaimers out of the way. First is that I am in no way a practiced dietitian or coach or any of that things. I am just a regular person with no degree in fitness. I mean, I research a lot, I study about it a lot, but definitely I am not somebody who's certified to give out any opinions. This, I mean, I am certified to give out opinions. I am not certified to give out advice. So this video will be about me and just my process and my opinions which I am free to give and all of that just what worked for me and what worked for me might not exactly work for you but I mean it might it might not so it's best to kind of do a hit and trial for your body and realize what's best for you. Um, and second of all, I think that all bodies are beautiful, so I'm not trying to shame anybody. I'm not trying to say that being skinny or being fat is worse than being whatever. Like, if you're comfortable in your skin, you're already winning. Right, um, so getting into this video, I have divided this video into four parts. The first will be the introduction, the second will be my history, my childhood, and my university days. Um, third will be when I realized that I want to make change and fourth would be how I made that change. Cool, so let's get started. Also, I want to kind of say that I will be using the word weight and fat interchangeably in this video for like a better flow, so don't come at me for that. Hmm. So, um, the first thing that I wanted to cover was the introduction. So a few days back, um, an old friend of mine from like my high school days texted me asking me for my fitness regime, my workout plans and my nutrition plan, my, I don't remember the exact word that she used, but this is the message that she put up um, and I was like, okay, why? I mean, I am very proud of myself, I'm very proud of the transformation that I've had, but I never thought that um, I have the kind of body that somebody would aspire to be like I never thought that um, I have a body that anybody would want to have I mean I know I'm hot as hell but I just never thought of myself as a person that somebody looks at and is like yeah I want that person to be my goal body um, so I was like <laughs> I was so flattered and I just thought that making this video might also kind of help other people realize how to get started because I was personally um, not a motivated person at all but if I did it I am sure that anybody can do it so let's jump into the second part of this video that is my history my school my college my childhood so my history um, is kind of painful I really don't talk a lot about my um, childhood or like my teen years uh, when it comes to the body dysmorphia that I kind of had. Um, I guess I got conscious about my body at the age of around 8 which in hindsight is just messed up. No child who is that small should have to feel self-conscious about their body like that's just you're just way too small to be thinking about those things right. But I was, um, and I was a very pampered child. My parents loved me, still love me, my family loves me. My dad used to let me eat whatever I wanted to eat, which I guess was the root of probably my problems. But um, I remember that I was not like happy with the way that I looked. Um, around the age of, I'd say, uh, 11 or 12, I changed schools. Um, I came to a new girls' school. And it was not easy, it was out of kind of my comfort zone and I remember looking at all my friends that I had made and they were beautiful and they were skinny and because I was already so kind of um, conscious about myself, I had put this in my mind that anybody is prettier than me, right? Like that's just how you think when you hate yourself and I remember looking at my friends and 
like they never made me feel bad about it but uh, i had other factors that kind of passive aggressively made me feel bad about myself i had relatives who would compare me to my sister and i had like the guys that i liked ended up liking the girls that i hung out with my friends and they ended up making fun of me with my friends like the guys started making fun of me with my friends like they would make comments about the way that i look or the facial hair that i had and like those things are very minor but it's just like when you're in such an impressionable age those small small things really end up making you who you are and i had a lot of insecurity i remember like wanting to get sick get typhoid or whatever disease makes you poop a lot so that i would lose weight um and i remember like wanting to puke everything that i ate so i used to eat a lot i used to overeat and i used to end up puking and i don't think that i've ever talked to anybody about like this eating disorder i never got it diagnosed but i am like very not comfortable with talking a lot about my eating disorder so i don't talk about it but it was bad like i was in such a bad and dark mental place um when it came to my body and i am also the kind of person who is very good at compartmentalizing so i don't think that i ever let it kind of come off that um i was not in a good place with my body i had bad body dysmorphia or whatever it's called i'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced um but yeah i just oh god i hated myself and um i remember that i wanted to wear some lily put clothes when i was 11 years old and i couldn't because um the clothes that were even made for 13 or 14 year old girls wouldn't fit me and it just like all of these small things really like added up and um i just it was messed up i hated myself um it kind of got better along the way i got more comfortable with my friends i got more comfortable with my body but i was never motivated to do anything about the body that i so hated which is sad i mean i don't want to say it out loud that i hated myself i hated my body i hated the way that i looked but it's true i did um and then 12th came like when i was around 17 years old uh i was eating bad i was stressed as hell i had my boards coming up so um I remember after my boards were over because I was sitting on a bed studying for 12 13 hours a day eating like shit um eating like three four packets of chips a day um cold drinks chocolates bad food just no no activity nothing um and I remember um after ending all of like my boards and exams I was not getting my periods regularly so I went to see a gynecologist and I got diagnosed with PCOS so it is like not a shocker honestly I had just bad lifestyle and um she also diagnosed me with like a lack of thyroid in my body which meant that I was going to put on weight without wanting to and PCOS did the same and i was then on medication to kind of control my weight and um that was the first time after a long time that i checked my weight and i was at 75 on the weighing scale and it broke my heart i remember coming out of that clinic and crying in the car like with my mom um and i am privileged to have great family amazing parents amazing siblings sibling i have a sister and uh, like i just broke down and i remember like wanting to go to the gym i went to the gym um and after a month of going to the gym i get on the scale and i see that my weight hasn't budged i'm still at 75 and i had a breakdown again in front of my sister i cried um and it was just bad because at that point of time i was also comparing myself to her and like i love her but at that point of time because all through my life i felt like i was being compared to her by my relatives or like the neighbors and even if i wasn't i had made it in my mind that i was so i it just made me sad that she was skinny and tall and i was not and i was gaining weight and uh, like i tried my best but like nothing happened and then i stopped going to the gym because i was just so demotivated because even all of my um uh, efforts were not paying off and i came to college i started eating good um i think i worked out a little in like for the first couple of months i was in a society and we used to work out like through the day and um i got better um i started like 
feeling more confident about myself i had amazing friends who made me feel good about myself and um i lost like 13 kgs by the end of like my first year i was then weighing around 62 kgs and i wasn't working out a lot or doing a lot i was just eating good and regular like steady state cardio i would walk to college if i could and i would walk to the metro station i would just walk a lot and i would eat good and all of that and i just got better and second year came my eating habits got bad again but i was mostly on my foot in my second year so none of that really counted i was still around that like around if i was in the late 50s or like about 60 or that kind of weight but i hate weighing myself as still do to this day so i don't really exactly know but like there were relapses obviously i was like in between gaining weight and so when did i decide to change my um everything <laughs> when did i decide to change everything uh so uh i think like my change like the change change came in 2020 but before that when i was in college i was still making like small changes in my routine right i was trying to eat better i was trying to eat out less i was trying to maybe go for a jog once a week twice a week i was never into uh weight training or strength training or any of that i was i literally had like no strength at all i i like everything that i do right now i can't imagine myself doing all of that like i can't imagine doing this at all like a year ago <laughs> so um the major change came um in 2020 when i realized that my college is going to end um i i mean i was a relevant person in college and i remember that i created that identity and i wanted to keep a good identity for myself when i started work which was which i was supposed to go to the office and all this but that never happened uh that's off the topic anyway uh i was like you know what i want to be in the best shape that i can possibly in because i was going to like into a new life and i wanted to establish myself as like that person like that person that everybody knows and everybody likes and loves and uh, uh, even up till college i still kind of compared a person's um how much a person matters and how worth a person is by the way that they look because all of that was just so 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 internalized in me so i was like you know what i want to be relevant i want to be seen and if i want to be seen i need to be like pretty i need to be beautiful so i started like i had a friend and i like a lot of my friends a lot of my internet friends are all into gymming and i would see them go to the gym or like have a good workout session once a week twice a week thrice a week however much and i was like you know what i want you to write me a workout program so that i can start and i had like a cardio wala stationary cycle thing here at home so i started off with that i used to cycle on that like an hour a day and um initially it was tough i had a zero stamina like an hour a day came maybe a month later but initially even 5 minutes would make me dizzy i mean even getting in a plank for 10 seconds would make me dizzy i would feel like i'm going to throw up and i have quite a few times thrown up in the gym when i went to the gym once um and even at home i have fainted after working out because i work out on an empty stomach i can't work out if i have eaten something so um anyway again getting off the topic uh i think the change came when i kind of like started doing even the smallest thing that was out of my comfort zone i started working out i hated working out i was demotivated as hell i mm, never liked working out but i started working out i started kind of eating very good i started watching youtube videos of like uh, coaches and dietitians and just to work out videos and i wasn't doing any of that at that point of time i wasn't working out like the youtube videos would tell me or eating like the youtube videos would tell me but i was like preparing myself mentally and mindset is just so 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 important so 2020 was the time that i like realized that you know this is the time that i changed myself and getting to how i did it um i have already kind of introduced that 
I started watching a lot of YouTube videos. I started like experimenting. I started to make myself aware and educate myself. And at that point of time, I was working out like 20 minutes of cardio, 20 minutes of like strength training. Not even strength, just body weight training. Um, and planks and crunches and lunges and squats and all of that like regular things i never like got into weights back then also but as much as i was like exploring this like world of fitness on youtube i would like look at good youtubers lifting weights and still like looking amazing and the more that i educated myself the more that i realized that Fitness is literally not about being skinny. Health is not about being skinny. It is subjective as health. And also, it is all about like feeling good in your body and just being strong, I guess. I mean, fitness for me is being strong. I want to be strong as hell. I want to be able to do push-ups, which I have still till the day not been able to do. But I want to. Um, so I, like, as much as I started to educate myself, I started getting better, I started getting a better perspective into the whole thing. I stopped comparing myself to Kendall Jenner on Instagram or my best friends or anybody. I started to kind of lose out on the insecurities and I am still very insecure about a lot of things but they still kind of started to slip away and I started eating healthy. Um, lockdown was obviously a big help. I couldn't order in anything so I was eating a lot of healthy food and for my process and exactly how I started it everybody knows that if you want to lose weight you have to be in a caloric de de deficit caloric deficit so the calories that you eat have to be lesser than the calories that you burn and every day our bodies burn like uh, a given number of calories like 1500 1600 however many depending on your like body and so if you eat less than that you kind of lose weight or fat um, but you don't want to be eating 1200 calories which is how I started I was eating like 1200 1500 calories a day because that's what my fitness pal told me but that's not how we do it I counted calories I was counting calories I was eating good I was not eating anything from outside at all like I was restricting myself a lot which got tough i had no energy to work out and that is not how we do it even though i was educating myself a lot i was looking at these people telling me that i'm not supposed to restrict but that mindset of wanting to get things right quickly is just so ingrained in us and that was tough to let go but anybody who knows me now is probably going to laugh right now as i say that moderation is key and I know my friends are probably laughing at this screen right now because this is one thing that I say a lot. I feel like restricting is not going to get you anywhere. There is this one amazing video by like one of my favorite YouTubers and I will link that down below and it is about how restricting or diet culture or fat diets usually end up harming you more than you like better yourself. So like the how part of it is very subjective for me it was moderation i for the initial amount of period i restricted myself i was not eating anything from outside but you really need to kind of condition yourself mentally to be comfortable with all foods to to know that the food isn't going anywhere like how it worked for me was i was like i don't have to overindulge or i don't have to overeat because I can eat it tomorrow, I can eat it the day after tomorrow. There is no point in me trying to like sabotage everything and eat just like crazy people. Which is what I used to do when I was binging. So like it is tough but you need to kind of take smaller steps. And the self-control comes um, differently to different people. For me it came sooner rather than later. Like, I was able to have a lot of junk food at my home and not eat it because I was like just okay with not eating junk food. I was okay with not eating processed food. I was not craving any of that because I wasn't restricting myself. And then slowly I started to get weights into my routine. I started to level up a bit like little by little I would start using weights. I then got um, 
protein powder and I started bettering my diet and eventually just small 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 steps got me from here to here. So I realized when I was editing that I should pay more attention to where I am putting my stupid hands because now I don't have the space above the hand to put the picture so I'm gonna put it somewhere below or wherever I find the space. And um, it is easy like this was me maybe in the initial months of 2020 or like later I'm not sure when I took this picture and this is me like last week and as I said that I don't weigh myself I do take progress pictures and I never even realized that I am losing so much weight when I was doing it because sustainability is important and sustainability comes when you make small changes every day instead of overwhelming yourself with so much and then just giving up which is what I have done plenty of times um, like me giving up gymming when I was 17 like me stopping again in my second year of college but I think if you make small changes and you realize that fitness is a part of your life and not something that your life should revolve around you will be able to really 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 be sustainable with it so I have talked about diet which is calories I have talked about the workout routines that I followed um, but one thing that I also really 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 want to talk about is the mental health and the mindset and for me mindset and mental health have been of the utmost importance mental health because stressing out doesn't help anybody if you're stressed you are going to get hungry like because cortisol kind of really relates to the increase in cortisol increases the ghrelin and it's just like a lot of science that I am not even sure I'll get right but I am like sure about the fact that increased stress rates are related to increase in appetite which is just like bad and even if it wasn't relating to the physical aspect of our health mental health in itself is just such an important part of any fitness or uh, health regime so getting good sleep which i am still working on personally is super important and mindset just fake it till you make it guys like that has what's worked for me i hated myself as i said but i started to fake that i love myself and eventually when i was talking to people like I value myself and I respect myself people also started picking up on that and then they started treating me the way I was treating myself and it was just a snowball effect till the time that now I am just so self-sufficient and so filled with love that I got from that self-hating person to this person who advocates self-love so much that people ask me how I am so content with myself how I am so happy with the way I am, how I am so confident and if I was able to do it, I am sure that anybody can do it because the kind of mental place that I come from, it was tough to be here and establish myself as, as someone who is filled with self-love and yeah, I think that is it. To conclude, I would just say be gentle on yourself. Moderation is key, at least it was for me, it was for most people that I know and um, I think life's too short to be worrying a lot about all of these things and if you're able to even work on your body for 10 minutes a day, 5 minutes a day, that's good enough, that's better than not doing anything. Our bodies support us through thick and thin, they have gotten us through a global pandemic and beating ourselves up because we don't look a certain way is just is just immature it's not it's not how things are supposed to be it's not how we're supposed to think um society obviously forces us to do that but the fact of the matter is that our bodies are our temples and every day that we wake up trying to be better for them and are like trying to be better for our bodies is the day that we win and that's that's all that i have to say so Good luck with your journey if you're watching this to get some motivation. If I could do it, you could do it too. Bye.